Yo, what's up guys? SVJ here. I hope you guys are having an amazing Sunday, an amazing weekend. It's Sunday and you guys know what that means. We got episode three of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. Um, this episode is called Bye. I am very excited to check this out, guys. If you guys haven't seen my previous reactions to The Ones Who Live, make sure you guys go check those out. I will have a playlist linked at the end of this video with all of my The Ones Who Live reactions. Um, we're going to check out the whole series. I'm getting really amped. I'm getting really excited because we're starting to get into like the the meat and potatoes of the show i feel like the first two episodes of the ones who live was kind of just setting everything up getting rick and michonne reunited kind of just giving us all the details that we needed to know to really get into this now that we're in episode three which is like the halfway mark of the the series because it's only six episodes long which it's so sad. I feel like we're really about to get into the like the nitty gritty stuff, especially with the Jadis reveal at the end of the last episode. Oh man, she's gonna be a fucking pain in the ass. It. Oh my god. I'm excited to see how Rick and Michonne handle Jadis and the CRM. I think it's clear that Michonne really wants to like burn CRM to the ground, especially with the shot of her flicking Nat's lighter. Um, looking out at like the whole military CRM base. So I think they're really just going to burn it down from the inside out. And that's exciting. I'm, I'm excited to see how they do that. And especially with Jadis being a massive hurdle for them, I don't know how they're going to handle her either. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed, but last episode I totally forgot to have my Rick and Michonne action figures in the background. So I made sure to uh, get them in there for this episode. But yeah, guys, we're going to see what The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live has in store for us with episode three. Before we get into the reaction, I want to let you guys know if you guys want to see my full unedited reaction of The Ones Who Live, that is up on my Patreon. Over here on YouTube, I have to edit them and cover the video and stuff due to copyright. But if you guys want to see the full video with no covering on the screen, no, no edits or anything, that is up on patreon sorry for the promotion guys without further ado this is the walking dead the ones who live episode three this is called bye years ago we're going back okay is this going to show jadis's story five o'clock we're getting more rick background so he still had the boots at this point oh so it's going to show us like the story of him and jadis probably the first time meeting each other since the bridge i, I guess Oh my god. They're gonna save you. Thinking about killing me. I will. Ooh. But not today. Not tomorrow. Oh. Sorry, I see it. In the event of my untimely demise, I just put a little file among my possessions telling them everything they need to know about you and all the people that you love. And I imagine. Gosh, he's a snake. The CRM reclamation team would have everybody that you love dead within hours of that file's receipt. Because you and her leaving with the knowledge of that city and this force, you know that can't be her. Oh, God, Andrew's so she good. Belong here. Then she shouldn't have come here. God, fuck what? you, Jadis. Cut her fucking head off. I don't so care. And secrecy above all. You're an evil I bitch. No sympathy. You didn't threaten me. Or the people I loved before when I told you I was going to get away. It's because I knew you couldn't. And now he knows he can. What changed? She's Meet here. You together? You can do anything. That's fucking powerful. I don't know. I want to say that just gives him hope that he can leave, but they don't have a choice. What the? They have to fucking burn that shit to the ground. Aw, oh, man. Fuck Jadis, dude. Chinese, clear. Don't kill them, Michonne. Okay, that... Uh, dude, that is A behavior. What are you doing? Yeah, you know your shit. That might, that was like one of the silliest things I've seen in the show. Throwing a walker head at a walker wouldn't kill a walker. What? Bam. Rick looking majestic as fuck. Oh, he sees his girl. Oh, they can't show it though. They're accelerating the schedule and there's a lot that needs to be done before the commanders arrive for the opening summit. Beal said that they're all going to be there. Every senior officer, every decision maker, the entire frontline of force. 
that's how they'll do it. So what I'm thinking is Thank you. they're talking about all the decision makers and the leaders and everything being in one place. That's when Rick and Michonne, I bet, make a plan to like destroy it all. What? No salute? I like her. She's cool. After post-task health check, go to Consigny Fitness, Locker 678. The key will get you out of the building, under the base, and away. Andrews? The map. I love you. And I left you a little something. Is it her, her machete? Or her machete? Her katana? It is! That's so fucking cool! Oh, that's so cute. I left you a little something. That's really cool. I love this. I wanted to say I love Andrew's like narrating. I know that wasn't really narrating, but like he has such a nice voice. It's so cool. I don't understand though. They can't just leave, right? Like Jadis is not going to be happy. Is that Gator? Oh, they're walkers. Imagine walker gators. Oh, God. Where's Rick? I mean, that's not Rick, so it's fine. Rick wasn't wearing a consignment jacket. That's not, that wasn't Rick, right? Uh, like, I don't, uh, what were they trying to show us there? I'm not coming. Oh, come and on. If you don't go, you'll never get away. And we both die here. The only way to get you back to Judith is that I stay here to make sure I love you forever. If you love me, you'll go. She, dude, no! They can't! No! What? No, Rick, come on. You gotta know she ain't leaving. Oh, god damn it, Rick. I made it look like she died trying. Oh, the oh, I now I get it. Get I mean, that's a good plan from Rick, but she didn't leave. Again, I, I did save your life. Well, now you get to save hers. You're a hero with a shit haircut. <laughs> Let's fucking go, Rick. <laughs> oh, that's fucking awesome. It's a good plan, but that she is pissed. Head into the right, we can talk. She's so fucking mad. I said that if you love me, you'd go. She's not going because she loves you, fucker. God, she scares me. <laughs> if that was my wife, dude, she would scare me. Wow, Michonne, come on. You gotta talk to him at least. Huh. So did Rick have someone draw those for him on the phone? Wow, I always thought Rick did it. But, wow. You're the one who drew me. Yes. Always you and the girl. He would come every few months and ask for a new one. There was a boy he asked me to draw, but I could never get it right for him. Carl. Oh. His name was Carl. You're more open. It took three years before he'd say names. You're Michonne and the girl is Judith. Is she here? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Sorry. Them She's talking gone. about Carl. He said he wanted the drawings for until he saw you again. Here you are. He knew he'd see you. He knew it. But he stopped talking like that. I told him. I know what you told him. Believe a little bit longer. It helped me. Believe a little bit longer. Oh, wow. That is so strong. Now I'm looking for him. I'm about to fucking cry my eyes out. Believe a little bit longer. That's such a powerful scene. Wow, that's so cool. So many people were making jokes about how I didn't know Rick Grimes was an artist. How do you draw on these cell phones? But that's really cool showing that. The writing of the show is so good. Oh, they're going to where Okafor brought him to talk. Look for answers. You'll ask what happened here. Rick. And why? 
and to whom. And you'll seek justice based on a feeling in your gut. A feeling you can't name. Why does it remind me of the scene with Shane? Sh Shane's death scene. It's so if eerie. I you that there is only one way to get those answers. Those secrets. Only one way to understand the whole picture. Very few in the entirety. Rick's got a fucking killer, man. I would say. Oh, no. She's going to answer correctly and she's going to put the knife away. Yes. That was not the right answer. No, no, that's the right answer. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, Major. This consignee will be joining us for clearing operations at Cascadia Base. Oh, this is about to be kind of cool, I bet. Michonne, come on. Stand down! Michonne, what are you doing? That's a lot, Michonne. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. This is cool. Does it blow up or? Is it just a, a? I think it blows up. It is he? Yeah. Oh no! Don't let her see you guys like that. No! 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 I don't want her to find out. Not yet. No! 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 It's so cute, but please, please, no! She's gonna see. She's gonna fucking see you, jackass. Get get up! Get up! Get up! That's enough. Find us. They will. We'll make it so they can't. That's what he said to her. Not like this. She watching? Okay. She... Yo, why does it have such Shane vibes to it? Whenever Shane aimed his shotgun at Rick in the woods and Dale caught Shane, why does that remind me of that so much? Yo. Holy shit. Oh my god. She's gonna kill a walker. Left. She Send was gonna left. do it. I don't get it. Why does she need to kill her? I guess she, she didn't listen. Oh, there it is. She saw me. Doesn't matter. Jadis? Doesn't matter. You're going back to base. She right doesn't now. know that Jada you saved him. Here. If I have to knock you out, I put you on that goddamn boat myself. <laughs> I belong here. You don't, and you will never change that. Rick. It's over. Everything we had is broken. You hear me? Whoa, man! Don't talk to her like that. Toto, it's Daito. I'm sorry. Michonne! Holy shit! I don't know if we'll be back. <laughs> no, it's it!
fuck, man. What a crazy ending there. Definitely my least favorite episode so far out of the three. This one was just the most kind of slow. It wasn't boring. It was just out of the three is definitely the most boring it's kind of slow not really any huge moments not too much in terms of progression i guess in the story i mean i guess tiny bits with thorn moving up in the ranks and we got some more stuff of jadis got some more background on rick's journey over the past years got some intense situations between rick and michonne um i mean the the, like the love in my heart just wants them to be happy husband and wife again but they're in a very intense and dire sh situation um and there's going to be some stressfulness and some words said some things said um rick tried to get michonne to leave without him she did not like that very much she did not like getting tricked um oh man the way he talked to her when they were at the base before the chopper right there i did not like that he he damn I mean, he was just, he's just stressed. I get it. And he's just trying to make the best out of the situation. He doesn't have faith anymore. You know, Michonne hasn't, doesn't know what Rick's went through. She, she hasn't lived what Rick has went, went through. She doesn't know how much he's tried to escape and how he just doesn't believe it can happen anymore. And then that was a really cool ending scene. I thought the chopper was just going to go down again, but Michonne was like, fuck it, we're going. And I guess, I mean, I guess they're over an ocean or something like that, because that's the only reason she would do that. I don't know how that's going to work out. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comments down below. Like I said, definitely my least favorite episode so far, but that doesn't mean it was a bad episode. It was just, it was just kind of slow. I'm excited to see what the next episode is going to be like. I guess they're, they're going to be running. I mean, they can't go back home. I don't know what that's, I'm going to kind of predict that there's going to be a huge fight scene between Rick and Michonne, not like fight like i think they're gonna have a big argument whenever they i don't know like swim onto shore and rick's gonna be like what the fuck was that blah, 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 blah. and they're gonna they're gonna have a big argument and it's gonna be it's gonna be sad uh, I, I bet i bet that happens um they can't go home that's just not gonna work out it's just not i don't know where they're gonna go from there but yeah guys i will see you all next sunday if you guys want to see my future the walking dead reactions make sure you guys subscribe and turn post notifications on if you guys want to see my edited reactions to the walking dead those will post every sunday till the show's over obviously um but if you guys want to see my full unedited reactions to the ones who live those will be up on my patreon my patreon is linked down in the description if you guys can go check it out like i said i upload my full reactions to these episodes on there with no edits at all i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the future